Hello, I am Minecraft Phenom08, and welcome to the 17th episode of my Rails of Industry Minecraft series. In today's episode, I'm going to be playing with electric locomotives, at least that's the plan, so let's get started. The first thing I will need is some of this electric track right here. There are actually two different ways I could go about this. Uh, one of them involves electric track, the other one involves a minecart with a battery, and uh, let me see... It would be this right here. I could use this and I might even be able to use the energy cart as well The one that stores RF energy to run and look an electric locomotive But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use uh, the track here the electric track. So let me Find that again and there are lots of different variants of it But I'm going to be using a lot of this base variant here. Uh, the first thing I will need to do is make some of the of this electric rail it's a pretty simple recipe so let me grab a bunch of stacks of copper and when I say a bunch I mean six stacks of copper so that I can throw it in a metal rolling machine which I have in the basement of my workshop here um, so what I need to do is I just need to put in these in this pattern and I get electric rail and to actually get this powered rolling machine to have energy I need to flip that lever and now that's off and going so that's fantastic the next thing i need to do is i need to take that powered rail and i can actually make the electric track so let me see if i can't find that so let's see here track the electric track and i'm not sure how many of the wooden rail beds i still have i have a lot that's crazy okay so how much of the standard rail do i have i have a lot of that as well and as we can see, I do have some electric rail. I already had uh, 60 of it made up between episodes just to uh, see, make sure everything was going to work like it should. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bunch of this electric track. Um, and ideally, I would make about a thousand of it. And I can. So that's pretty sweet. So the next thing I need to do is I need to do a little bit of testing because I'm actually kind of unfamiliar with exactly... Um, how the electric locomotive is going to react over long distances with this electric track. I guess the first thing is, uh, right now, is I need to make a locomotive. So let me find lo lo the locomotive. Sorry about that. And the recipe for the locomotive is this right here. I have uh, pretty much none of this. So let's get a redstone lamp. That's pretty easy to make. Um, and if I type in locomotive, this will make things easier. Okay, so I have the lamp. The steel plate should not be bad. I can do a recipe. Do I not have a forge hammer? I do. Okay, so let me just grab some steel so I can actually do this. Um, not inside that crafting uh, terminal. So there we go, I have a bunch of steel plates now and I actually could have used my uh, compactors over in my workshop, but that's okay. Um, let's go back to the locomotive. So I have the steel plates, I have the redstone lamp. Let's go for the steel gears. Uh, it looks like these should be fairly easy to make. I have a lot of bronze, so that's gonna be pretty easy to make. Uh, these uh, gear bearing bushings, sorry. I was gonna say bearings, but uh, they're bushings. So let's make these steel, steel gears. I have plenty of steel laying around, so there's my steel gears. Um, I do have the minecart, so I need some of these charge motors, and I actually might have that automated already because Yes, I was using them for uh, flux transformers, I think. So there's, I think, one more thing I need to make, and that is a nickel zinc battery. And apparently this is going to be a little bit complicated here. I have, I think I have a little bit of niter, so that's okay. So we need some zinc electrodes and some of the nickel electrodes. So actually, if I grab some zinc ingots and nickel ingots... Actually, yeah, let's just go ahead and do the whole thing. And then nickel as well. I should be able to make these into plates with the compactor. Now, if I can't use the compactor, I should be able to use the forge hammer. So let's see. Uh, I'm not sure if the zinc will work. Looks like it is, so that's fantastic. Um, the nickel ingots right there. And while I'm at it, I might as well smelt up some more of the zinc ore because I don't have any more of the ingots ready. And I might need them at some point, so it's good to have them around. So let's go back to the locomotive and finish off that battery if we can. Okay, so... Oh, wait. 
So I can use a zinc electrode. Okay. Okay, I think I know what's going on. There are different batteries I can use, and I didn't realize that at first. So let's just go ahead and use this because I have... Um, I should have the plates coming in any time now. There they are. Uh, sometimes it just takes a little while for things to get into my system. There we go. Oh, these are metal rolling recipes. That would make sense. So let's grab those plates. And I need a few more of them. Okay, so there's six of those, and I need six of these as well. Okay, so you know what? Since the powered rolling machine is being used, let's just go ahead and use the manual rolling machine. This doesn't look like it will take very long, so that is good. Okay, so I think there's... I have just about everything. If I don't have the niter, which I think I do, if I don't, I will be disappointed. But I should be able to make it relatively quickly. It's just uh, if I pull very sandstone, I can make it as a byproduct. So that's one of the ways you can get niter. I'm sure there are other ways as well. Uh, I think killing uh, bl blitz mobs, you can get them that way. So let's go get back to that battery finally. And... Cool, looks like I do have everything, at least theoretically. So let's pop all of this stuff into my interface terminal here, and let's uh, request a locomotive. Oh shoot, request a battery, my bad. Cool. So let's, uh, let's look at the locomotive. I think that is everything. So let's throw that in there. Let's uh, put this locomotive pattern into the uh, interface terminal, and then let's request a locomotive. So I don't have enough iron plates. That's not a problem. If I grab some iron, I'm going to grab three stacks of iron ingots because I'm going to use the rest of my forge hammer real fast, and then I'm going to throw these iron ingots into compactors. That way I have some iron plates laying around. Always nice to have extra, extra ingredients around. Okay, so that's the iron plates. I should be able to request the locomotive now. In the meantime, I also am going to need a, a, a source of power. I'm going to use RF, and therefore I need a flex transformer, so I need eight of these guys. Uh, looks like I need some more large wire spools, which just uh, means I need some copper blocks here. If I, you know what, I don't want to wait on that. Is this done? This is done enough for me. So let's go ahead and hit that. That should craft up quickly. And I'm sure I have enough electric track or electric rails at this point to make a bunch of electric track. So I'm not super worried about making that last one that was in the uh, powered roller. Okay, so the flux transformer. Let's see if we have what we need yet. Still waiting on that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait on that off camera, and once I have that, and um, I'm going to go ahead and make the flex transformer off camera, and once I have that ready, I will be back. So I am back, and I have the flex transformer with me. There's one more thing I would like to grab, and that would be a capacitor bank of some sort. So these are from Ender.io, and let's see if I can't grab several of them. I should have just about everything I need. I might need to make some of the golden nuggets, but other than that... I think I have everything I need. So let's see if we can't make some of these. I want two of them to be to be exact. And that is so I can measure a power flow. So actually I have them right here. So let's, yeah, I need the gold. And that is a pretty simple matter of making that pattern. Then I will have plenty of gold. Okay, so two of these. I will be able to use my crescent hammer for this, so let's grab these. I will need some flux duct as well. And let's do some experimenting. So uh, down here under my road, I do have uh, flux duct here, and it is hooked up to my uh, extreme reactor that is at my energy generation slash or processing base. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hook up a flux capacitor or a basic capacitor to that. And let's actually come out here so we can get a little bit more space. 
And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to um, right click with my crescent hammer on the basic faster until I get to this so that I can see exactly how much energy I am drawing from the capacitor. And then over here, let's just do an N and then we need to just hook this up to power. Preferably without making a mess. Okay, so what I'm going to do just temporarily, I'm just going to bat out this and run that down like that. I should be getting plenty of power. I think I have my reactor set up so it's making just over 2000 RF per tick. So that's fantastic. The next thing I need to do is I need to hook this uh, capacitor bank up to my flux transformer here. And the flux transformer is a multi-block structure that I made before. It is two by two. And um, as you can see, it changes its texture when it is um, properly made. And there we go, it is ready. So I know that this will draw some power. No, it's not the transformer itself that draws power. without operating hang on I think it actually is drawing a little bit of power maybe it's not I don't know but anyways if we place this tr flux transformer next to electric track it will actually power it I believe so let me test this out real fast um, I didn't grab my locomotive and I don't know why so let's grab that and if I push the put this down as we can see over here it is drawing power so let's First off, I've never I've never tested if this will draw more or less power uh, depending on its speed. So let's let's do a little bit of testing here because obviously if I can run it at full speed without drawing more power, that would be advantageous because you're actually using less energy per per uh, unit of travel, I guess. So it's actually kind of hard to tell because it blinks to 196 and then it goes to zero. But the thing is this electric locomotive is working. So that's fantastic. And one of the things, oh, one thing I'm going to do with this now that I have uh, an idea of how much power it's gonna use, it doesn't look like it's gonna use a whole lot of power which is actually pretty fantastic because I want to replace a steam locomotive that I have in the basement of this building that is supposed to run resources back and forth with an electric locomotive and that's because I'm just not getting a whole lot of coal or coal coke so it's not really an ideal situation because my steam locomotive did stop and I did have to bring it back here that's because it just didn't have it uh, just didn't have any coal so if I replace it with an electric locomotive actually I need to grab a crowbar to turn that around um, and then link it up with this cart, I, this will be a much better system because this will be able to run all of the time. So what I need to do is I need to replace a bunch of this track here. And that's not uh, what I wanted to do. Actually, what I should probably do is move this along so that I can replace the track that it was underneath with electric track. Actually, I need should be able to put this back on yes there we go so uh, what I need to do now is I need to replace all of the track between here and my ore processing area with electric track that's gonna take a while I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera and once I am back here with all of the track replaced I will be back I believe I now have all of the track replaced with electric track so what I'm gonna do is I actually need to test this out so first off uh, what I'm going to do temporarily is I'm going to unlink these because in between these I am going to put a minecart to where I'm going to write along and now I'm going to link these up so let's link that and then let's uh, let's bat this no I didn't mean for that to happen okay so let's uh, let's actually just grab this back and put it over here and put all the stuff back inside of it so let's uh, all of the ores. Okay, that should be good. So let's link this up. There we go. And there should be stuff in here now. Let's go ahead and actually I need to hook up the energy cell. So the flux transformer, I think I'm going to put it right here. So um, as in right here. Uh, one thing I believe we need to or I need to avoid is I believe I need to avoid stepping on the electric track once I actually have power to it. 
Um, I'm not 100% sure about that, so I'm going to go ahead and test it out. There's a chance I'm going to kill myself doing this, but you know, whatever. It's, it's good to know these things, um, so we might as well just test it out. So let's punch a hole in the wall here so that we can drop this energy down and run it up like that. I should have some covers with me to make it look nice and neat, and let's grab some stone as well. Okay, so let's actually, let's get this right, there we go. And then we can cover that back up. This should have power now. Um, if I look at the locomotive, it should have power. Okay, so that's weird. I really thought it did damage you if you stood on electric track. Uh, I know in real life, if you do, it's a, it's not a fun time. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to hop in this minecart and I'm going to ride. Oh, 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 I see what's happening. I completely forgot about this. So let's uh, empty this out manually. Might as well. And then let's throw that in there. So far, so good. I kind of thought that there might be a range on this thing, as in... Oh my goodness, I'm getting a lot of lag in the background. But uh, I kind of thought there was a range on how far the electricity would run on the electric track. But so far, so good. Uh, which is fantastic for me because that uh, makes things a lot easier if there were limits I actually do have power right up here So I could just make more of the flux transformers and it wouldn't be that hard of a fix It would just take some resources, but everything looks good so far. So that's fantastic and this thing travels quite quickly so I am quite excited about that and we're almost all ready to my ore processing area uh, I'm really liking this electric locomotive. Really liking this thing. So it looks like this is going to go off without a hitch, which is fantastic. So let's just make sure everything's going to work. I might even leave this cart here, uh, this, uh, this mine cart I'm sitting in. I don't think it'll hurt anything. And as we can see, this advanced unloader unloads things rather quickly. I'm not sure if we have anything over here. Because this train hasn't been running for quite a while, uh, and that's because I didn't have coal. So now that we have this thing up and running again, I will have automatic resources. So I don't know that we'll have to stop there. Okay. So I think that's a pretty good wrapping up point. Are we out of power? What happened? Why did, why did it run out now? Okay, that's odd because this track should still have power. Interesting. Okay, so I'm going to have to figure out what's going on here. So uh, I'm going to uh, work on that and uh, once I figure out what's going on, I will be right back. Okay, so I've done a lot of troubleshooting and I finally fixed the problem. I'm not entirely sure what was going on to be honest, but uh, I tried a few different things. One was using a redstone flux loader with an energy cart. Uh, I know in the past you could use an MFE cart with the electric locomotive and it would the electric locomotive would be allowed to take energy from the cart. But uh, that didn't work out with the energy the energy cart. I can't actually use the uh, the industrial craft 2 mfe cart because i do not have uh, industrial craft 2 energy at this point so what i did was i added a couple of flux transformers uh one of them is here i added this one and then one the other one is near the end of the line over at my uh, ore processing area but that seems to have fixed the area or the issue and the train should be able to run its complete circuit without any issues so that's what i was looking for so anyways in today's episode, I set up this electric track here, and I set up the electric locomotive to carry my carry resources from this my main base to my ore processing area to get processed, and then back to my main base. And that should work out just fantastically. Uh, I'm pretty excited about that because in the past I was using a steam locomotive, and that didn't work out so well because I eventually ran out of coal and coal coke. And so it just stopped and now as long as I have some RF energy, which I should because of my extreme reactors reactor 
uh, that train should run constantly so i shouldn't have any more issues with that so anyways if you enjoyed today's episode definitely give it a like if you enjoy watching automation type stuff in modern minecraft definitely consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already anyways signing off i am minecraft phenom08 and i will see you next time